Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back to, I guess, part two of my nightclub business guide. The original guide, if you have seen that, you would know that the nightclub business is a bad business. However, it's not as bad as you th might think that it is if you know what you're doing. It still shouldn't be your main business, but if you already made your purchase, I'm here to ease your pain. All the info and the research in this video has been done by Bunny, Raptor, Worm and Joker in my Discord. So a huge thank you to them for making this video possible and obviously helping out you guys not regret the purchase as much as you might do. First off, if you want a more in-depth guide on how everything works in the nightclub business, then check out the video in the eye in the sky right now. This video right here will simply be an update video to the previous video that I made and will focus on giving you the best possible way to make money in the nightclub business. So without further ado, here's what you want to do. As someone who wants to buy a nightclub business and doesn't own any existing businesses like the biker and the bunker businesses, then don't bother getting this business. Your investment will simply be too big and the time to earn back your money will be too long. Just stick to dancing on the dance floor and grab some crates during business battles in free mode to stock up on the floor that you will get with your nightclub by default. Now, if you're someone that already owns the existing businesses, Hear me out. I'm going to assume that you have all businesses. If you don't, adjust accordingly. So here's what you want to do. Purchase a nightclub with one or two storage floors like shown on screen. You get one storage floor by default, so it's up to you if you want to spend the extra cash. Location doesn't matter, just pick a location of your liking. Just don't pick the LSIA or Elysian Island location and you will be fine. This will run you about one and a half million dollars for a nightclub and $395,000 for the extra floor if you want to get that. Then purchase all the upgrades for $2,595,000 and all the technicians for $878,000. This will result into your investment being a minimum of $5 million. Once you got that, assign all your technicians to the following businesses. Cash and creation, sporting goods, pharmaceutical research, cargo and shipments, and South American imports. Don't bother with printing and copying and organic produce. These are a waste of time. Same goes for filling your nightclub completely. You'll be wasting your time and money if you do so. Once cash creation, South American imports and pharmaceutical research are filled up, you can go for a sale. Make sure to keep an eye on the special orders for some extra cash, as well as selling in lobbies with a good amount of players to get some high demand cash bonus money to cover the 10% cut Tony takes off the sale. If you don't see a special order you like, come back in 30 minutes or simply sell the stock you have in a regular way. A big note about business battles, by the way, these will reduce your time to fill up your business by literally hours. If you manage to pick up one crate of cargo, you will save yourself 70 minutes of waiting, for example. A vehicle is worth two crates and can be blown up to simply pick up the crate and deliver it with a vehicle of your own choosing. So if you see one, go for it. So in conclusion, the nightclub business is actually pretty good and pays more than any MC business. Just have a look at this graph made by Joker. You'll be able to walk away with $40,500 per hour from the business alone, which will result into you earning back your investment in 123 hours instead of the previously mentioned 197 hours. If you keep your nightclub popularity up by simply doing one mission an hour, you'll be able to earn an additional $12,500 per hour, making it a total of $53,000 per hour and reducing your time to get your investment back to 94 hours. Compared to buying a cocaine business, this is still a very long time to get your investment back because the cocaine MC business takes about 15 hours to earn back. But of course, this requires you to resupply every two hours. While with nightclubs, you don't have to do anything but having your existing businesses open and just being a GTA online. And of course, participate in business battles if you wish to speed up the process. So, is the nightclub worth your investment? Personally, I think you should still stick to the existing businesses that you already have and just buy a nightclub to go out for some dancing and the cool space that it is. The nightclub business is simply an addition to your existing businesses. If you're someone that's still plays the game often or likes to go out and hunt for those business battles, then you could consider. If not, stick to the dance floor. You'll get to question last those life decisions instead of your own. But with all that said and done, thank you so very much for watching. Make sure to give it a like if you ended up finding this video useful or share it with your friends who might also own a nightclub business. Subscribe for more and I'll see you all later.